anyway, today what I want to show you is uh, my asymmetrical capacitor that seemed to work pretty well. Of course, down here we have a one plate circular and around the top supported by these little pieces of uh, sticks of balsa wood um, is my a very fine wire which is the second plate of the capacitor and it's of course it's tied down here on one leg a piece of thread here on the other leg and on the third leg on over there uh, another thread and it's about oh wait i guess it's about eight inches in diameter something like that about, about eight inches and it's powered by a fly back out of a old computer monitor which is driven by a, a rewind uh it's actually a jewel thief uh seven by two winding driven by a uh 2n3055 transistor and powered by 12 volt battery anyway let's plug this thing in and you'll be able to see that it's uh it goes up with considerable strength in fact this here is a skewer stick and well, actually, I hope if the battery is up enough. Oh, almost. Yeah, I guess it is. Support the weight of that. And this is a hard, that's a hardwood stick, which would be comparable to a telephone pole. This thing was about 30 feet in diameter. But it's uh, very, very little. I know a lot of people think it's ionic wind that drives these things, but, you know, there's... With this design, there's, there's, you, you feel nothing, basically nothing at all. There is, there's so little um, ionic wind there, and this is quite a heavy thing, really. It's, um, you know, it's, it's pretty heavy. Anyway, it's leaking a little bit, but when it runs good, it doesn't leak, and um, it really works for quite well. It's, it uh, uses very, very little current, and you can see it's it's pretty pretty dynamic the way it goes up. Let's see if I can get a back shot here. You can hear it leaking a little bit. Let me hear the sound a little bit better. Anyway. But like I said, there's 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 so little ionic wind there. It's it's uh, you know it's it's you can see what it's not even pushing down this piece of paper. And this thing does weigh quite a bit. And there's there's you know like if I put a piece of paper on top of it here, it has no effect on it at all. And, it's uh really works quite well. I believe what it's doing is creating a gravity field above it, and it's actually trying to fall upwards. And uh, this will this will go, you know, a couple hours, a couple few hours, really, on this little tiny bit battery here, and it's a pretty powerful little unit. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Give you a little closer look at it down below without my sleeve here. It's, it's, uh, I said there's a lot of wood on there. And, uh, that This is actually uh, the base. Uh, I cut this out of a pie tin, which is not really very light aluminum. It rolled over the top a little bit and uh, a lot of super glue and a little bit of a little triangular um, thread in the center just to stabilize the structure a little bit. But it, uh, it'll do that for hours just on this little battery. So I guess the next step is to build a, one a little bit larger with an onboard um, 
power supply. This is really a seems to be quite a quite a good little power supply. A little jewel thief on a uh, flyback seems to work pretty well. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you, and we'll see uh, how the next one goes. A little bit larger. A couple of the, my other projects up here. Tesla coil in the making, and a couple other things here, and of course my uh, Van Graaff generator here. I'm kind of close to get a picture of it, but anyway, just wanted to share that with you. That was a pretty cool little design, and it works very well. And I'm sure, there's room for improvement, but scale up, I think it could do something. Anyway. That's all for now.